Yo, how's it going? So, on the group I'm and been grinding some uh, CG, so figured now I've pretty much got the hang of it. Uh, do a simple guide from someone that's done 50 kills rather than people that have done hundreds and hundreds. Just give you my point of view um, while also playing around with some editing bits and bobs. So, maybe this will make it out. I mean, if you're hearing this, it made it out. Maybe it won't. Who knows? So, let's get started. To start with, I've got the plugin called the gauntlet so we go in and you like to do a d around here so first protocol is get a weapon frame if we can pretty rapid as soon as you do as if by magic you can drop a couple of those on the way out because you want to manage your inventory space as well so we go up here we make a weapon pretty quick. I like to make the... I also make a couple of these. And fill them up with water. Put that on. Fill that one. You're on the way past. Being efficient with your time is a good thing in here. Because it's very, very time sensitive. Leave that paddle fish there. We don't need it. Now I'll pick up one of these. These leaves. These gives you prayer and stamina. Crush some of them. Because to make them, you put your herb in and some crushed shards. We do want two, and while we're here, we can make our second. Gosh, there's two. So we need seven of every resource. So start with the ore. So we're going to need to get three off each. So you get two, and then one off a third, um, which is a bit fiddly. If it was six, it'd be a much, much easier bit of content, this, but not a big deal. You can go for tier one armor. I just prefer tier two because it's not that difficult to get. You Sometimes you'll fail through lack of time. Most of the time you're fine. I find killing a couple of these, getting all your resources and two bosses, tends to be the shards you need. These are the medium level ones. You've got small level ones, not worth killing in after you've got your first weapon frame. And then two or three of these medium level ones, because they give you so many more shards, definitely worth doing. You can save spot some of them, which saves a bit of prayer. Not too much of a big deal. Look at all those shards. Yummy, yummy shardies. So, in the outer three rooms, outer middle three rooms, these demi bosses can spawn. This is the ranger, so prey range. And he'll, he'll drop a bowstring, which means you can make the perfected ranged weapon. I made the, the staff at the first, at the start, so I obviously want the dragon as well, which is the mage, which means I can make the protected, uh, the perfected mage weapon. So, ideally, the mage and the range weapon, because then you don't have to fiddle about. It's easier when you're learning. But if you're like me and you only have piety, the melee weapon's not bad either, because you can get the extra damage off. We we'll go one more, because this will be the middle three. It's not there, but we do need one more of those. So. Mine one of these on the way past. Again, being efficient with my time. Come down here. Fishing spots, which we like, but we'll save till the end because we're using our inventory space wisely. And we'll get seven of these while we find these. The start is there. So it's good to keep that in mind where the beginning is. If not, you can open your map and it looks all funny, but I don't like to because it blows my mind. Six after this one. Then we'll want one off this last one. Easy peasy. Well, we're near, near this door. I'll light this up just in case there's a boss. Nope. So I'll go through here. Uh, we don't need any of that stuff, annoyingly. It's very RNG basis because it can all spa um, spawn in random places, but um, we also need seven of these. But, so I'm far away from the start now. So when I go back, I want three because now I can teleport back, use what I've got already. To use three of each to make a starting set of level one armor and that'll give me loads more inventory space while i'm here i'll also you make the bow click on it three times it makes it perfected that's that i'll use that now because it's the best weapon i've got don't drop that i need that drop that though because i don't need that for a bit more inventory space you're getting the theme so perfect this is the last thing i need i'm not gonna have the shards for full armor and another perfected weapon just yet, but touch wood, by the time I go over there and get the last boss, which is where I'm hoping it's going to be, I'll have the shards I need. 
Should have made another teleport crystal to get back quicker. Not the big deal. The biggest of deals, sorry. I've got plenty of time left. Top left corner. I've got three minutes. I need about a minute to sort my food at the end. We'll pick up this food now, because I've got the space. I'll pop a shot off at him, see if I can get him nearly dead. Because I don't need the time. Finish him off. Annoyingly, this bear isn't what I need. But again, he'll drop a weapon shard anyway. Which will mean... A weapons frame, sorry. Which will mean if I need to, and there's no dragon here, I can make another weapon. Or I can go in with three weapons. Instead of dropping the basic stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what we're doing for time, but we should be fine. He obviously gives us a spike. Interesting one. If you've got a spike already and you kill another bear, it won't give you a spike. It will give you one out of a one of the other ones. If you've already got one of the other ones, so if you've got a spike and a bowstring and you kill another bear, you'll get an orb. So not ideal. We'll keep going around the edge. I shouldn't, in fact, because I haven't got a teleport crystal. So I'm going to work my way back. Light up these rooms on the way back. See some food. I'll have a dose of potion because I need the stamina. Plenty of food on the way back. These highlighted things really make it easier. Depending on what this is. Not bad. There's no food there which is annoying. But because we're going to fly back here now. Finish off this armour. Cook the food that we've got in our inventory. I'm going to make a teleport crystal as well. And then we can get back here rapid when we do get these food. Bosh, bosh, bosh. And I've got the spike so... Oh, I need a weapon frame. Fuck. Fucked it. Right, I'll make a teleport crystal. I'll do that at the end when I'm sorting my food. I even said it out loud. See, no one's perfect. It's why it's a beginner's guide. Just to get you the first few KC. Get your own iron. Drop that. Don't need space. Drop that. Don't need to ground anymore. Um, teleport crystal. Bosh. Let's go over here. So I can light up these ones over here now and hopefully find the bosses I need. But I've only got 30 odd seconds. Oh, I'm not going to have time. Right then. What I am going to do is cook these. I've got the perfected bowstring. I'm just going to do this because I'm a psycho. And just to see if I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to make an attuned bow. Uh, attuned staff. So I'm going to go in with less food than I usually go in with. Less prayer than I usually go in with. And less shit altogether that I usually go in with. I'll organise my inventory. And if I can do this, you can do this. Go in. Start attacking him. Range first. As soon as he hits, start the timer. Timer's on the right hand side. You can't see it, but trust me, it's there. He'll do Two, five attacks. One. Or I'll do five mage. attacks. You go with the timer for his. And after five of our attacks, he swaps overhead. So I swap weapon. Make sure you stay off the floor tiles. Two. As they blow up and kill it. Range. Prior range. Bosh. I'm going to have to be very tight with my food here, so. Two. One. Mage. You can actually, if we're really good, move him about a bit. Once he's attacked, move there. Two. One. Range. And if he's not where you want him, you can also move him by walking to the opposite side of the room. You can drag him one tile off that wall. Two. I might be dead. One. Here. Mage. Uh, run away. Two. One. Range. Very range. I've got my head back in now, so. Might be alright. It's going to be tight because I haven't got a lot of food. I haven't got the weapons I need so the damage is going to be rough. Two, one, mage. Read that. Get my offences prayer right because I'm going to need to be doing as much damage as possible here. I'm going to wait. Not that way though because that's the wrong Two, way. Two, one, range. Don't worry about losing a bit of DPS while you're running and eating because Two, after you eat you won't be able to one, attack them anyway. mage. Just make sure your overhead's right and you're going to save a lot of food. Make sure you've always got the Two, right weapon on, that's important one, as well. Range. 
eat while you're moving. Use that run to get a little bit of distance between you. Two, one, mage. Swap as he swaps. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be talking through this. It's easy Two, when things one, are in the right place. Range. But when you're trying to listen, floor tiles move randomly. These fucking things come out like they do. Make sure you got a Two, bit of distance as well, because they one, seem to be a little bit behind mage. where they think they are. While you're like Two, this, attack when you one, can. Range. Two, one. It's going to be close. Mage. Tell you that much. Ready to change to range. One more attack from me. Bosh. That goes there, that goes there. Two, I can get an attack one, from the corner before I range. run over here. Preempting. When you get the hang of it, preempting things is the way. You get extra, probably four, five, six extra Two, shots in every, one, every time you kill a And it's such a big deal because the damage is what what will kill you if you're not beating him for damage. You'll just you'll chomp through all your food, and it's Two, a pain in the ass. One. This is range. tricky, but these are the dream floor tiles. Two, Use path one, to your advantage as well. Mage. Yeah, we should be good here as long as I don't fuck up. Two, I'm one. Be quiet. Range. Two, one. Mage. He's going to throw his torpedoes, so I'm going to preempt it and eat a couple. Go straight over here. Start getting damage Two, off. One, range. The quicker you can do damage, the better. Always have your right weapon on. Two, one, mage. Just like that. That's your first Combat kill at CG. Task completed. Oh, look at that as well. Corrupted Gaunt and Grandmaster, that'd be 50. There you go. It's almost like I planned it. I definitely didn't. Just for the vid, sort me out with an enhanced. No, never lucky. But yeah, the, the loot is insane. That's not even a crazy one. That's 170k-ish with crystal shards that stack up over time. That's only 50. So... With a couple of Zalk in there as well. You're getting about 8 or 9 on average at each one. I've done 50 here. This is my loot from 50. Yeah, get on it. It's just ridiculous. And obviously, the Bofa, if you can corrupt it. Unreal for an Iron Man with full crystal as well. You can just go to you can go to Zulra with the Bofa and full crystal. And you don't even need to take a mage switch. So, yeah, I hope that guide helps. Obviously, it's a bit rough around the edges. But just to show... If nothing else, it's, it doesn't need to be a scary thing. You can get, you can come here. I'm a bang average gamer. You don't have to be mint. You don't have to have experience. You can learn it real quick. This plugin's class. So yeah, good luck, guys. Get grinding.